Greetings, Earthlings, and welcome to Wizard of Legend. So, uh, let me tell you the legend of the wizard. Once upon a time, okay, there was this wizard named Ned Flymaster. And uh, his wizard powers were, of course, that he could control flies and he could, you know, summon flies and stuff. His nemesis, Screeble Kniebel, came up to him one day and said, Hey, Ned Flymaster, huh? Well, I've got the perfect trap to stop you. So he casts a spell and he summons a pot of vinegar and he says, Vinegar pot! So there's like, there's just this big pot of vinegar and then Ned Flymaster says, Hey, um, I think you misunderstood. It's you catch more flies with honey than vinegar, not the other way around. And so Ned Flymaster says, Oh, yeah, I see, you misunderstood. And Screeble Knievel says, Oh yeah, I did misunderstand. Well, I guess I'll see you later. And then he leaves for the next 12 years and they never see each other again. So during that time, Ned Flymaster defeats the evil Lord Zeldrabron and brings peace to the galaxy again. But uh, after 12 years, he's sitting on his porch, you know, just feeding his flies, you know, bird seed or whatever. And then who should walk up but Screeble Kniebel, his old arch nemesis. And Screeble Kniebel says, I've got a new spell now. I've taken what you said into account, and now I have a brand new spell that's sure to defeat your flies. And then Ned Flymaster says, Oh, okay, what is it? He says, Arise! Vinegar! Pot! 2.0! And there's like a big flash in the sky, and there's like a big sound like... And then uh, suddenly, uh, it doesn't look like anything happened. He said, okay, what did that do? He said, haha, I have now converted all the water in the world into vinegar. And then Flymaster says, wait a minute. All the water in the world? Uh, you do know that, like, fish can't breathe vinegar, right? Uh, you fool, you've doomed not only the human race, but every other race of animal on the planet. And he said, oh. And he's like, haven't you ever watched Animal Planet? Animals need water, man. And then... Screeble Kniebel says, oh, I, I didn't really think about that, I was just thinking about your flies. Rip. And then Ned Flymaster says, alright, we're gonna have to fix this. But just then, a police car rolls up. The police officer comes out and he says, hey, is uh, Screeble Kniebel and Ned Flymaster here? And they say, yeah, yeah, that's us. And he says, yeah, well, we're just rounding up all the wizards right now, because it seems like somebody turned all the, all the water in the world into vinegar. Uh, and I, I think it's probably a wizard, because I don't think anyone else could have done that. So, uh, Ned Flymaster, you're a fly-based wizard, right? Did you do this? And he says, no, I'm a, I only control flies. I don't think I even could turn the entire water in the world into vinegar, even if I wanted to. Okay, and Screeble Kniebel, you're well known for your vinegar spells. Is this your doing? And he said, no, no, I only do vinegar. I, I don't think I could mess with the water if I wanted to, you know? And then they say, "All right, well, uh, we're we're pretty sure it's not you guys, but just to be safe, we're gonna we're gonna bring you in, you know, because we brought in all the other wizards too." So then they they take them to the they take them downtown for questioning, and they take them right up to the president desk. And President John F. Kennedy, because he was president at the time, says, "We uh we have a little situation on our hands here, gentlemen. It seems that somebody has turned all the water in the world into vinegar." And I believe that it must have been a wizard. Now you are both wizards, yes? And uh, Screeble Kniebel says, yeah, I'm a wizard. And uh, Ned Flymaster does too. And then JFK says, well, I don't know who caused it. At this point, there's no real good way to find out. So what we are going to have to do is a, uh, we are going to have to find the time wizard, Father Uncle Adams. And Screeble Kniebel says, Father Uncle Adams? That, that's a that's a that's a weird name. And then he says, uh, no, his name isn't Father. His uh, title is Father because he's actually a priest. And then he says, oh, well that makes sense. But is his name Uncle? That's still kind of weird. He said, oh yeah, his name is Uncle. That's kind of weird. So then they're they're off to find Father Uncle Adams, and the two of them are going out, and they say, hey, uh. Where is Father Uncle Adams? 
and uh, Ned Flymaster says, oh, he's going to be at the top of uh, Mount Susumi in Japan, um, in the uh, Canadian Embassy. So, so they go over to Japan, and, and they climb up Mount Shishumi. And so they climb up the slopes of Mount Shishumi, and they reach the top to the Canadian Embassy. And Father Uncle Adams is just sitting up there recording a terrible music video. And he says, le, 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 what's going on, fellas? And they say, all right, uh, Father Uncle Adams, uh, we, we messed up uh, someone. <clears throat> And then he like side eyes Screeble Kneeble and Screeble Kneeble does the same back to <clears throat> back to Ned Flymaster. And they say someone has turned all of the water in the world into vinegar, and that's gonna like kill everything. So we need to fix that. And then he says, "Oh, of course, I'm le 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 le. I'm Father Uncle Adams, the Time Wizard. I can just turn back the clock to before you did that." Uh, all I need is just a sip of my magic water. And they say, oh no. Uh, because his magic water also got turned into vinegar. So he, so he says, oh no. Well, I only know one guy who can turn vinegar into water. You're gonna need the help of my old buddy, the water wizard. Uh, Z Zimpasta Salabasta. There's, there's a bit of a problem with going to him. Uh, you see, I actually am $300,000 in debt to him. I don't think that he's going to be happy to see me. But don't worry, I have a genius strategy to pay back all my debts. So he goes to MasterCard, because uh, he has two credit cards, a MasterCard and a Visa. So he goes to the MasterCard building and he says, Hello, I would like to buy this company. And so, so they say, Alright, uh, will that be cash or check? And he says, I'm going to pay with my Visa card. So he pays with his Visa card, he, he buys the entire company for $3.9 billion, and he puts it all on his, uh, on his Visa. So the, some of the MasterCard guys are like, okay, you now own MasterCard. He says, alright, now I'm going to cancel out all of my debt on my MasterCard. And then he goes to, because he's the mayor of MasterCard now and he owns it, he can now cancel out his own debt. So then he goes to Visa. He says, hello, I would like to buy the Visa company. They say, all right, will you be paying with cash or check? And he says, I'm going to be paying with my MasterCard. So then he spends $3.8 quadrillion on his MasterCard. And then he goes back to MasterCard and cancels out his day. And then now he owns Visa. So he says, okay, now I'm going to just cancel out my Visa too. So I have no more Visa debt. So then he, boom, he has no more credit card debt. And then he sells it back to Bill Gates for $3.8 billion, which is like a 50% loss, but because he paid it all with debt, now that's all cash in the pocket. So now he has enough money to pay back uh, the water wizard, uh, Zimpasta Salabasta. They go to the city of Atlantis, where the water wizard Zimpasta Salabasta lives. Uh, but it's vinegar, so they have to get a special submarine that's rated for acid, because uh, vinegar is slightly acidic. So, so, like, the water is a little more acidic. I, I guess it's vinegar now, not water. So it's a little more acidic. And uh, because of that, they need a special submarine. So they go to the guy who made the first ever submarine back in 1973. And he says, hey, uh, this is the first ever submarine of 1973. And it's acid poop. Completely. So you're, you're not gonna get stranded down in the depth of the vinegar oceans. Uh, they told me I was crazy for making an acid-proof submarine, but who's laughing now? Ha 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 it's me. So they go down to the depths of Atlantis, under the vinegar sea, and they find the, the ancient water teacher, the water wizard, Zimpasta Salabasta. And they say, okay, can you turn uh, vinegar back into water? And he's like, oh, so you're here about that. Well, all the fish are dead. So I'm, I'm afraid I need a living fish in order to cast any of my spells. So then Screeble Kniebel reaches into his back pocket and he says, Well, it just so happens that I have a lungfish here, which is able to breathe air, so it survived. And uh, does that count? He says, Yeah, well, actually, that's perfect. That's, uh, yeah, that's just what I needed. So then he grabs a lungfish 
and he starts casting his spell to turn to turn Father Uncle Adam's magical vinegar back into Father Uncle Adam's magical water. And Father Uncle Adam says, oh, by the way, uh, I have the money to pay you back. So he pays him back all the money he that he scammed out of the credit card companies. And then Father Uncle Adam's drinks his magical water that was turned back into water from vinegar. And he sets the clock back in time, but Scribble Knievel says, wait, will I have ever met you if we turn back the clock? He says, don't worry. I'm not how everybody else is. I'd much rather be original. And then the time rewinds and, and they're back in time. And Scribble Knievel is walking up the steps to uh, Ned Flymaster's house. And he says, hey, Ned Flymaster, I think I have a spell that's going to stop you for sure this time. And Ned Flymaster says, no, 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 remember the time loop we just went through? Oh, right, yeah, the time loop. Yeah, I thought that was a dream. And then Ned Flymaster reaches into his pocket and he pulls out a lungfish. Well, thank you all for watching. Join the public Discord server, link in the description. If you want to play some Holy Grail War, I'm working on getting a server sorted out. Magister Dixie.